Greetings YouTube, this is Daredevil2142 with another Star Wars The Clone Wars action figure review. Um, I apologize to those who've been waiting for these reviews to be done, um, since I added that on my wall, or page, or whatever you call it, your channel. Yeah, I added it on saying that I was doing re these reviews for those who probably have, might have read it and are waiting. I'm sorry, I was in the States at my uncle's house. I brought my camera, but I forgot the um, the cable that hooks up to the computer to transfer your images. So, yep, it kind of sucked, but I'm doing the reviews now. I've got four of them. This is my fourth one that I have picked up. Okay, so today in front of me, I have the Air of Trooper, as you can see. Um, very nice box. These are the new boxes that have been... Um, that are now being used to, for the new Clone Wars, new Saga collection, and the Legacy collection. Some of them are reruns of the figure, I guess. <coughs> so, let me just give you a good look at the box. It says, Star Wars Clone Wars, nice picture of the ARF Trooper. Uh, then it says, the ARF Trooper here, Cannon Fires Missile. Clone Wars logo. Uh, the, the back, it has a picture of the air trooper on ATRT. I think that's artwork, not from the actual episode. Um, it also shows the action figure. I guess it's a prototype of it, because not all the figures look exactly like the picture here. We're holding the Gatling gun, the air trooper holding the Gatling gun with the Republic symbol in the background. The Clone Wars logo again. The air of trooper um, information. I'll just read it to you. It says Air of Trooper. These advanced reconnaissance fighters often operate all terrain recon transports or ATRT. Walkers on scouting or combat operations. Riding atop these armed vehicles, Air of Troopers can swiftly sweep through an area and cut down battle droids in their path. <clears throat> really good information. If you want more information, guys, uh, and gals, if there are any girls watching this, um, I would recommend you go on Wikipedia. That's Wookie like Chewbacca Wookie. Yeah. Space Pedia like Wikipedia but the Pedia part. Yeah, like Encyclopedia but the Pedia part. Yeah. And then dot com. It has freaking a lot of information on probably any Star Wars character and probably stuff you might not even know about. It's really cool. Um there's daily updates or weekly updates I think. Um and it's a good thing to check out. Alright, without further ado, I guess I'll show you the rest of the stuff on the box. Okay, there's the other figures. You can see there's Mace Windu, um, Admiral, Yula Ren, the, the Jawa set with two Jawas, um, Commander Gree, and uh, what's it called? Heavy Assault Super Battle Droid, which is pretty cool. They have arm mounted cannon, take out like vehicles and shit. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah. So now onto the figure. Alright. So the Air of Trooper comes with two accessories. This. This um, Gatling Cannon here. Which they can hold pretty well. Uh, it also comes with a projectile. Which you can put inside. And shoot out. It's pretty cheesy but I'll demonstrate it anyways. Well, Yeah. Shoots pretty far. Um, nice detail I guess. You have to press this little button to fire it. Really concealed, nicely done. Um, now onto the figure itself. Oh, and it also comes with the DC-15 carbine, which is pretty cool. I just switched this one. It's black. The other one came in like almost the same kind of color as this, kind of like metallic-y, kind of grayish, blackish. I didn't really like, so I just switched it. It's all the same though. Um, now onto the figure. I'll just go over the articulation first. It has a ball, um, ball. Um, what's it called? Ball hinged um head. Sorry for that really newbie lag. Like I just got a brain wipe right there. Um also comes with ball hinged shoulders, I think. Yeah, ball hinged shoulders. Uh a ball hinged torso, could turn three sixty. Um, ball hinged elbows. Ball hinged wrist, the Clone Wars ball hinged wrist stuff. Really cool. And now, it has these weird thighs. I don't know what the hell to call them. I just call them articulated thighs. Um, I think they're just for, um... Because these ride the ATRTs, right? Maybe if you had the Episode 3 ATRT Battle Pack, 
can probably put them on because they do I guess you can because you, when you move them up I guess you can put them on like they're sitting on it it's also cool if you want to put standing kick poses like why not like that I guess yeah it also has um <coughs> uh ball hinge or ball jointed um yeah ball hinge uh knees and ball hinge ankles Alright, so that's about it for um, the articulation. Now I'll just go over the detailing. It's a simple white body, um, white colored armor. Um, no other things recognizably on the armor itself other than standard armor. Uh, but the helmet is really awesome. Like, the Air of Trooper helmets are like, I don't know what I could say. Like, a, in between of a Kashyyyk Trooper and uh scout trooper yeah but but these look way better they look like they're they look like they're angry like they look tough they can kick your ass yeah um i really like the detail done the paint is really spot on which i really like uh even the visor paint the black paint is spot on no like messing up by going underneath the visor anywhere the de the decals are um the emblems or markings on the <coughs> excuse me on the visor or shade of the visor are really you know, spot on too done well uh light nice green markings around it and the four blue, blue stripes okay let me tell you something quickly about the stripes all right these four stripes the well the stripes in general mean for ARF troopers is that um it's ranking the four is the highest ranking you can get uh, I don't know what the ranking system is for ARF troopers, amount of kills, amount of, um, missions accomplished, I don't know, I don't really know, I don't know if it's age or experience, I don't really, really don't know, but I'm gonna try to search it up if I can find out, um, in episode 22, when they're, um, on Mace, when these, there's two ARF troopers that accompany Mace Windu, they're freeing the Ryla, I mean, freeing Twi'leks on the planet Ryla. Yeah, and there's two of them. One's Razor and one's named Stack. Um, Stack has two. Razor has all four, which means he's really experienced, or I don't even know what it means, as as I stated before. Yeah, so just wanted to say that. Yeah, pretty cool figure. I'd say I'd definitely pick him up, because I doubt he'll be there for long. I doubt... I probably... They might make one if they're making a battle pack, but I, I, I'd really pick it up just to be safe. Um... I guess out of 10, I'd give this 9.5. Yep, out of 10. Really cool figure. Really like it. And that's about it. That's all i got to say. Uh, I'm making my other reviews soon. I just want to show you what I'm going to review. So here they are. Um, other reviews are. I'll be doing Command Degree. I'll also be doing Clone Trooper Echo. Um, and then finally, for the Clone Wars for now, I'll be doing the Commando Droid. Yeah. Um, also, for those who've been waiting for my, um, what's it face, um, the G.I. Joe thing, I know this one guy, um, has been waiting for it. I uh, forget your name, sorry, dude. But, um, someone said it's not rare, but I still think it's rare, because I only found one out of Walmart, Target, and Toys R Us in the States. And it's the Elite Viper. And I found this only at Target, out of all those stores. Um, yeah, so I'll do a dream review on that too. Those G.I. Joe fans, I guess. Um, so, yep. So thanks for watching my review. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And, because I'll be doing a lot more reviews in the future. And that's your ARF Trooper review. Um, this is Daredevil214T signing out. See ya.